Researchers from McMaster University have created a gel with amazing potential medical and environmental uses. So it's actually made up of viruses, but has the capacity to fight bacteria. Zaneb Hosseini Deuce is the lead researcher, and she joins me this morning on the show. Uh, let's start with the basic question. How does this super gel, we'll call it, work? Well, that's pretty different. Yes, hi. So um, we've created this um, gel that's made uh, almost entirely, uh, entirely of viruses. Now, going back to your question, how does it wor work? Mm -hmm. These are good viruses. They're called bacteriophages. The name bacteriophage or bacteriophage, it means bacteria eater. So these are viruses that target bacteria and fight bacteria. Um, you can find them basically everywhere. So you can find them in fresh water, seawater, even inside your body. The job of these viruses out in the environment is to fight bacteria. Fascinating. So this is a wonderful discovery that you have made, but what are the potential uses of this uh, very cool gel? Right. So because the building blocks, these viruses, have bacteria fighting ability, the, the gel itself is able to, to kill off and, and target bacteria. So you can imagine that it can be used for a, a, a wide variety of applications where um, you need uh, antibacterial activity. Now, um, after packing all these viruses into a semi-solid form, into a gel, we found that its uh, properties go above and beyond just antibacterial property, that it, that it exhibits uh, the ability to regenerate and heal itself, that it emits light. And so that expands the range of applications. So one of the potential applications, for example, is as uh, wound dressings or skin grafts for burn wound uh, victims. So, and this is one of the potential applications we're looking at. Um, now, the applications are not limited to, to the medical sector. You can also use these gels for environmental cleanup to, as, as coatings and membranes and filters to clean up uh, water or, or wastewater. Um, again, in any application that you want to target bacteria. It's fascinating. So what happens next in your research? You've made this discovery. So what is next for you and your team? And when could we actually see this being used uh, for the, all those purposes, perhaps, that you mentioned and more. Right, so in terms of what's next, we're very excited about all the applications of the gel. So we've patented our gel, and we're, we're uh, very much uh, looking forward to partnering up with the industry, both in the medical and the environmental sector, to move this gel closer to application in real life, again, because of all the, the wonderful potential applications. Um, and in terms of when we can see this uh, um, on the market, now bacteriophages, which are the, the building blocks of these gels, have regulatory approval already for food and environmental applications. So that would be um, the closest, the fastest route to application. So finally, um, we have heard so much in the news about so many bacteria becoming resistant to things like antibiotics and these so-called superbugs that have sort of spilled out beyond being contained. So is there any potential uh, fit for your gel and what is happening with these that are becoming increasingly resistant to antibiotics? This is, this is an excellent question, of course. Bacteriophages were discovered about 100 years ago, and ever since, they have been used as natural antibacterial agents. Um, they were overshadowed by antibiotics for a period of time, but with the rise of superbugs, there is more attention now towards the use of bacteriophages again as antimicrobial agents. There is a lot of um, uh, there is there is a lot of promise for using bacteriophages against superbugs against antibiotic resistant bacteriophages and uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria. It's amazing uh, the work that you are doing and your entire team and the fact that it is coming out of Canada. So we really really appreciate it. We need more and more people like you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.